The Razorbacks take on LSU tonight at Bud Walton Arena. Yeah, and the winter weather isn't stopping fans. In fact, that game is about to start. Michael Aaron is outside the arena. Michael? Uh, Darren, Erica, we can actually hear the fans from inside, so it sounds like the game maybe just started here in the last few seconds or so. Uh, and you can see here outside of the arena, the last few of those fans still filing in. Uh, we spoke with Central EMS just a few minutes ago. They tell us uh, that they did have a report of one fall here outside of the arena. That person had minor injuries. They weren't transported, and they uh, don't have any other reports of issues related to the basketball game. So a lot of people keeping their fingers crossed that we can get the win here at Bud Walton and also uh, get everyone home safe. Now, a lot of students turning out for today's game. We saw some of them lined up here on the side of Bud Walton as early as about 3 o'clock this afternoon. Uh, general admission for students who have the access pass. So uh, the university may be uh, just taking into account that there may be fewer fans here than normally. It is coaches versus cancer night, a pink out, and uh, we met some students, one of them who was ready for that. Take a look. And I, I just threw this all together to put it on. It's a little chilly right now, but it's fine. We come out to all the games, and I mean, why let a little bit of snow stop us today? We're just dedicated Hawk fans. Yeah. But where are you from originally? I'm from Shreveport, Louisiana. Okay. Is this one a, a tough game for you? Or? No, it's not. We'll let them have football. We'll take basketball, even though we lost to them earlier in the year. But this game's different <laughs> at the bud. The University of Arkansas closed campus as of 5 o'clock tonight. Just about everything but Bud Walton Arena. A lot of fans here hoping to get that win over LSU. And uh, operations pretty much normal aside from limited concessions, open parking, and a few other things. So uh, go Hogs. Live in Fayetteville covering news where you live. Michael Aaron, 5 News.